Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I don't think I've ever been more excited to do a video than this week's video, because this is a topic I feel extremely passionate about, and that is different ways you can simplify your lifestyle and become a minimalist. And the reason I feel so strongly about this topic is I feel like we're in such a consumer-driven world, and the underlying message behind that is that stuff is going to make you happy. So I'm going to completely turn that on its head and tell you that actually having less stuff can make you happy. When we're living in an environment that's full of junk and clutter and crap everywhere, that's gonna make you feel overwhelmed, it's gonna make you feel stressed out. I personally feel like a huge weight has been lifted off of my shoulders since getting rid of so much stuff. The second major benefit is that it becomes so much easier to keep your living environment clean and tidy when you have less stuff because there's just less stuff to clean in the first place. And the third major benefit is that you'll find that you're spending a lot less money at least for me I just don't want any more stuff I enjoy having less so I've lost that urge to just constantly spend money and buy stuff just for the sake of having it so instead of having the attitude that I want it but I can't have it my new mindset is I can have it but I don't want it so now I'm going to share with you guys the steps that I took to make this major lifestyle change the first step was to get inspired and really commit so the first thing I did was I read the book the life changing magic of tidying up I actually did an entire video on that book so I will leave that link down below she goes into so much detail and she really highlights the benefits and hearing about those benefits really motivated me and inspired me to want to make a dramatic change the next thing you could do to get inspired is to watch videos like the one you're watching now I find that visually watching someone declutter and simplify is so incredibly motivating the last thing that I did to get inspired was I looked up pictures I went on to Pinterest and I found photos of homes and living environments that really reflected what I wanted for myself so the second step is by far the most time-consuming and difficult part of the process and that is purging your stuff. So I personally feel that the best time to go through this process is if you're moving, because while you're moving, you are forced to interact with every single thing that you own and make that decision, whether you're keeping it or you're not. If you're not moving, you could obviously still go through this process. What I would recommend you do is start with the area of your house that stresses you out the most. And the reason is, is that if you can tackle and accomplish the number one area that's stressing you out, it will give you that momentum and excitement. So when you're making those tough decisions about what you're going to keep versus not keep, these are the things that I thought and that really helped me get through that process. The first is, is this something that I really use on a regular basis? If it's something that I forgot that I even had in the first place or it's sitting in the back of a closet or in the back of the drawer, how much do I really need that item? Another thing that I thought about was, do I have something similar that already fills this purpose? So basically getting rid of duplicates. So for example, I had a big blend and then a smaller blender so I thought to myself do I really need two items that fill the same purpose pretty much and they're just taking up space this is also something really great to do with your clothes how many black tops do you really need or how many pairs of jeans do you really need you probably can whittle it down to just a couple versus having multiple duplicates so now I want to talk through some of the roadblocks I came across when I was trying to get rid of stuff and how I overcame them the first thing that kept popping up in my head was what if I'm gonna need this someday? That was probably the biggest thing that was holding me back. So what I came to that really helped me get through that was, if this is something I am going to need and I regret getting rid of it, the worst case scenario is I can replace it and I can buy a new one. The other thing that was holding me back was items that I had spent a lot of money on that I was no longer using very much. I was finding that really painful to get rid of things that I had spent my hard earned money on. So what I had to do to overcome that was first forgive myself, the money's already been spent, it's gone, there's nothing I can do about it. And my new framework for thinking about it was I'm giving this to someone else who will really appreciate it. So the item has already fulfilled its purpose for me and now it can be used by someone else. The next thing I found extremely helpful in the purging process is to find someone who's on the same page with you who can hold you accountable. So if you're just left to your own devices, you might keep a lot more than you maybe should, but if you have someone who's there with you, who's really holding you accountable and questioning you and pushing you, then it can help you really free yourself of more stuff. 
So the entire decluttering process, it's gonna take a while. So in the short term, something you can do that can make an immediate impact on your living environment is clearing off your countertops. I have found that the step of clearing off the countertops has probably made the biggest visual impact in my living environment and I highly recommend you do this. And the last step in this process is maintaining your clutter-free environment. You might think that it's a one-time process, you just purge a bunch of your stuff and then you're a minimalist for life. But what I have found is that even though I'm trying trying to be a minimalist, stuff is still accumulating. So something that I started doing is going around my house with a box every couple of weeks and putting stuff in the box to donate. Simplifying your life is going to be an ongoing process. It's not just a one-time thing. I'm also really particular about what I allow into my space. So my mom comes over a lot and every time she comes over, she brings a whole bag of stuff with her that she wants to give me, but I don't just accept everything. I only take the things that I know I'm really going to use and really get a lot of value out of. You also could try the process of one item in, one item out. So if you do accumulate new things in exchange, you give away something that's similar to it. So if you buy a new top and maybe pick out a top that you're no longer using or wearing and donate that. All right guys, so those are the steps that I went through to simplify my life and really start living a more minimalistic, lifestyle. It was a huge transformation for me and it's been better than I ever could have imagined it being. I feel so much better. I'm so much happier and I feel like I'm more in touch with what really matters and what really brings me happiness. I now feel like I'm in control of my living environment rather than it being in control of me and overwhelming me and stressing me out. So if this is something that you've been thinking about doing for a long time, but never really took that next step, consider this the push that you've been looking for to at least try, see how it feels. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That just tells me that you want to see more videos like this in the future. And if you're new here on my channel, please hit that subscribe button. That will basically just tell you every time I come out with a new video, I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on this topic, also on cleaning and organizing. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely subscribe to my channel. And with all of that said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. Okay, babe, I just finished purging all my stuff. I got rid of all of it. I went through everything. Wow, you're getting rid of this whole box of stuff. That's amazing. Yeah. Babe, there's only one sock. This well, is what you're getting rid of? Yeah, but that one sock was just, it was throwing off the balance of everything in my life. Yeah. I'm a minimalist now.